Greetings and salutations. I am your humble Adobe instructor, AJ Wood. Thanks for joining me for another quick Photoshop tip. Today's tip is at the request of one of our Facebook viewers. They'd like to know how we actually make a frame for a particular image. So this is the image that Mr. Joss Bossy would like to know how to create. How do you actually put a background frame? So I'm going to show you how to do this very quickly inside of Photoshop. You can see that this is the final image that we will end up with, but let me go ahead and reset the picture and let's walk through the steps. So the first step will be to unlock the background layer. The quickest way to do that is to hold the Option key on a Mac or the Alt key on a PC and simply double click the background layer. Once I have the background layer unlocked, I need to change the size of the canvas. So I'm going to go ahead and increase the canvas size using a percent. So I'll increase the width about 120 percent, increase the height about 140 percent when I click OK. Now we have our background canvas. Now what I need to do is take the picture and separate it from the background. The simplest way to do this is to select the picture. I'm using the magic wand to click the background and then I'll use select an inverse which is Command Shift I or Control Shift I to select the picture. Now that I have the picture selected, I'm going to cut it and put it on its own layer. The keyboard shortcut is Command Shift J on a Mac or Control Shift J on a PC. If you glance over at the layers panel, you can see now I have the picture on its own layer separate from the background. Now that I have them as separate pieces, I'll take the background and fill it with white. This is Command Delete on a Mac or Control Backspace on a PC. Now that I have the picture on a white background, I'll turn around and add a drop shadow and a frame style to this image. I simply do that by using my layer effects. So I'll go to my layer style options. We can check to add a drop shadow. I'm going to increase the shadow to about five, six pixels. And notice I can grab directly in the photograph to position the shadow how I want it on the image. So I'm just going to kind of copy the picture that was requested. And I'll turn around and add a bevel and emboss by checking it in the layer style dialog box. I'll make this about five pixels for the bevel and I'll just increase the depth so it actually shows through. So we're at about 500 percent roughly for the bevel. So once I click OK you can see now we have the bevel effect on our picture. We have the drop shadow effect behind it but in the actual photograph that was requested you can see here there's some kind of inside shadow interior lighting effects. So this is really easy to recreate as well. What I'll do is simply add a curves adjustment layer to the top of the photograph and I'm going to change the overall brightness by dragging on the right hand side of our curves adjustment layer and now the whole image is in the shadow. To simulate the lighting effect I will simply grab my brush tool and all I have to do is paint with black and as I paint with black you can see I'm revealing light across the face of the image. So I'll do this. I'll change the opacity of my brush. I'll drop it down to about, oh, we'll say about 25%. And I'll make a larger brush and I'll brighten up the room by going over the picture. And now we've got some simulated shadow effects inside this photograph. So once again, here's where we started. This is where we ended up. And more importantly, for today's tutorial, what I have for you is actually a downloadable action that you can use to recreate this effect. So I want you to see here, if I just reset the picture, you can actually use the action that I've programmed to create the background frame, separate everything out, and then all you need to do is use your brush tool and you can paint in the shadow effect on your own and add your own light to the image. So if you'd like to download this Photoshop action, simply go to bit.ly slash psframe. Once again, that is bit.ly slash psframe to download this 16 by 9 free border action for you today. So my name is AJ Wood. As always, I appreciate you tuning in each and every week for new Photoshop and Lightroom videos. 
please rate, comment, and subscribe and join this channel. I'll catch you next time.